There is movement at the hips and a bend and snap, bend and snap knee. Oh, what's happening? Okay. Hey everybody, I just went to my mailbox and I have two new packages. So I am going to open them now. So I've been actually getting a lot of mail from you guys recently and I really appreciate it. You guys spoil me so much and I am genuinely very, very grateful for all of you. Um, I do have two new packages and I did that thing where I crossed off the name on the package so I don't remember who it's from. But this time I took a picture, Andrea. So this is from Andrea or Andrea. Andrea, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly. I'm so sorry. Please let me know in the comment section if it's Andrea or Andrea. Um, but anyway, and then the other one. Okay, well, <laughs> somebody else sent me. Hopefully there's a card in here because this is actually from my Amazon wish list, which um, by the way, if you didn't know, I do have an Amazon wish list of dolls that I would like to get for myself at some point in time. And if you ever want to see what I have on that. I always put the link down in the description so you can check that out if you want. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, so I figured I'm gonna open both of these. This being from my Amazon wish list, it sounds like there's only one thing in here. So I think for today's video, I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm gonna open this one first and then I'm gonna open the box and whatever's in here, I am going to unbox and do, if it's a doll, I'm going to do a review for it. <laughs> so, but I guess we'll find out what, you'll probably know know it'll probably be in the thumbnail and you already know what it is I don't know what's in here just yet so I don't know what we're gonna be doing anyway so um let's take a look at this from Andrea or Andrea really quick okay there's a oh I saw I, well, I didn't see exactly what's in here but I saw some paper and I have an idea of what's in here oh okay so there is a note here a little handwritten note thank you so much um, I think it's Andrea, it looks like. Okay, so, hey Chad, yes, you can say my name in parentheses. Uh, my name is Andrea and I love your channel. I love your reviews, customs, and verses. You are an absolute joy to watch and make my day a whole lot better. You got me interested in the Illy dolls. I have a few now. I got a few treats and I think you might like, or I got a few treats. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I got a few treats I think you might like. I have dyslexia, so it's hard for me to read sometimes or uh, read out loud. Um, anyway, <laughs> keep being the amazing person you are, Andrea. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, I saw the little paper in there. It's the Illy paper, the little wrapping paper. Oh, there's two. There's, there's a couple things in here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so if you've been following my Illy series, which if you haven't, I'll put the link to the playlist up here so that way you can go check out my Illy doll reviews. But anyway, so <laughs> I wanted to collect all the different little surprise toys that they come with because they have those balloons and inside there's like a little blind bag situation with the little Disneyland treats. And I wanted a bunch of different different ones, but I kept getting the same one over and over. I have about like a bajillion of the pink macarons. So no more pink macarons, but it looks like Andrea has sent me a couple so let's let's take a look at this one for oh, ah, i'm so excited it's the dull whip oh my gosh look at that okay hold on i gotta i want to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better that is so cute i think this does this come out or anything or no it's just all all glued together but that is totally fine i love that there's a little flower here looks like a little hibiscus is it hibiscus I think that's what it is. Anyway, but yeah, it's like a little Dole Whip and Dole Whip is one of my favorite treats at Disneyland. And then here is another one. Oh, it's the popcorn bucket. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Cause these are like in scale with the dolls. So like these are like doll sized treats or I guess some of them like 
the the Dole Whip is actually bigger than the popcorn bucket, so never mind, I'm totally wrong. But the popcorn bucket is like doll scale for a popcorn bucket, I feel like. This is a little big for the Dole Whip, but I don't care, This it's for me, <laughs> my collection. But look at this, this is so cute. So everything is glued together, so you got the lid right here, and the popcorn in it, and all the painted details, the handle, and then look at the little p decal, it's got like Mickey and Minnie on it. Or is it just Mickey two times? No, yeah, it's Mickey and Minnie. And then there's like some uh, fireworks and everything. That is so cute. And then this is what I saw when I opened the bag. I saw the, the little Illy wrapping paper. That is so cute, Andrea. Thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate these. They are going with my collection. Eventually, I think what I'm going to do is I'll line up the different Illy treats on like one of these shelves or somewhere. I'm not sure, but I want to display them. But I love these so much. Thank Thank you. Okay, so next up I have this box, which is from, uh, like I said, it's something from my Amazon wish list. The person who sent me this messaged me on Instagram and told me that they were sending me something from my Amazon wish list. So that's how I know what this is. Plus, it's an Amazon package that's not opened yet. <laughs> so, anyway, let me go ahead and um, cut this open really quick. I'm really interested because all of the things on my wish list are pretty much all dolls and they are dolls that I want so can't really go wrong <laughs> all right oh oh no way oh my gosh okay 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 hold on ah it's one of the new Disney classic dolls it's the storybook collection that it just came out just recently came out um, these are the new versions of the Disney store classic dolls people found them in uh, I think the Disney parks initially and then they started showing up on uh, shopdisney.com I already planned on getting pretty much all of them <laughs> um, just because they are different and they come with second outfits and other accessories and stuff like that I've been waiting because I am going to Disneyland in October. So just a few weeks here, I'm going to be going to Disneyland, which by the way, if you're going to be in Disneyland that during that first week of October and you happen to see me, please feel free to say hi real quick. Um, I'm not doing anything like official or anything. I'm literally just going on vacation with my family, but there have been people in the past who have been at Disneyland and they messaged me on Instagram and they're like, hey, I was just too shy to come up, but like, you don't have to be too shy. I'm in a public space out at one, you know, in Disneyland. It's totally fine. And I would love to meet some of you anyway. Okay. That being said, ah, <laughs> I'm really excited. Hold on. There is the little, uh, gift messages in here. Is this filled out at all? Yes, it is. There is a message here. So it says, hello, Chad. I am also an adult who loves to collect dolls and toys. So I'm happy to find other fellow adult toy collectors. Also, I love Ariel. So I hope you enjoy this doll from Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you so much. I'm really excited. Now, I was going to do reviews in the parks. Uh, originally, I wanted to get these to take with me to Disneyland to do a review for, but I did say that whatever was in that box I was going to open and do a review for today right now. So I think I'm going to do that and maybe it's a good thing because I'll know what to expect when I do the review in the parks because uh, there's more to these dolls uh, than the other ones and I'll get I'll get down the the um, previous ones here. Let me move my camera back a little but yeah um, I'll, I'll get down the other one and I can kind of compare it here in a little bit. Anyway oh my gosh I'm so happy. Now they are using the newer face mold. This is my favorite aerial face face mold that they've done um, and I'm so happy that they are still using it. She comes in her mermaid outfit but they've given her a major upgrade and then also she comes with a second outfit which is her blue dress which is my favorite dress from the original animated film. Um, it We'll have to see what it looks like once I get it out of the box because um, it, it looks okay but it looks like it might be a little low quality. I don't know yet. Um, anyway she also comes with a few accessories, which you can see pictured here, like a, sec a pair of shoes. She doesn't have shoes on here, so it's not a second pair. It's just the pair of shoes. Um, she has a dingle hopper, a loaf of bread, and a little friend flounder is here. So here is on the back of the box. It basically shows everything else, but it looks like the back opens up to kind of create this little play set. So um, yeah, or no, the front does. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to get this open. I'm really excited about this. Oh my gosh. Oh, the top is ripped a little bit, but that's okay. Anyway. Okay. So um, I'm going to like figure out the best way to open this up. Let's take a quick break. And when I get back, I will have this like, I'm going to start opening the box and we can kind of take a look at the actual doll. But before that really quick, if you enjoy doll stuff, Disney stuff, Disney doll stuff <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff like that. Or if you just like enjoy hanging out with me, then now is your quick reminder. Go ahead and subscribe. If you're not already stick around, we have fun here anyway. Okay. Now we're going to take the quick break and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to start opening this up. Now, I have not actually watched any reviews of these. I've seen one short video where somebody was comparing them and I realized that they did new body molds and I'm actually really excited about that. So like I said, I will get my other aerial and we will kind of compare them side by side. Um, but I'm going to be figuring this out on camera for the first time. Uh, now I did kind of look around the box and it does not look like there is any tape or anything. So I believe they are still going with their plastic free packaging if I'm like if I'm not mistaken I don't see the small world forward slash mark or whatever uh website address that they used to advertise on the back of the other boxes so I don't know if they're doing the small world incentive is still going on necessarily or not but anyway um so let's go ahead and open this first I think I don't want to rip it they're just like these tabs Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me undo the top one. There we go. Each one. And then this just folds down. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh. Oh, she looks so cool. I love the way this is framed. This looks really, really cool. Now this kind of like opens up and then it's like a little scene. So that's kind of what it was showing on the back here. So you have like a little, a little play set almost like a little diorama. Oh my gosh. She looks really, really good. Oh, this is okay. This is in the way she looks really good here. The one thing about these like Disney dolls, they have really good quality control. Like I'm not going to say that they've never had a wonky eye or like a weird smudge on the paint on the face or something happening with them. They're mass produced and it, the potential is there for something to happen and to get past that quality control and for you to end up receiving it. But at my whole experience, like I've gotten most of the, the plastic free packaging for all the Disney princesses and even like Alice and other non princesses like Wendy and a few other characters, Esmeralda and, and, uh, or no, I don't think, did I get the, I don't think I got the Esmeralda one anyway. So, um, like, Disney store dolls have really, really good quality control. And these are ones that I actually don't mind ordering online, which by the way, if you want to buy this doll, I have a Amazon storefront now. So in the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to my Amazon storefront. It is an affiliate link, um, but it's where you can go and you can actually buy this doll and it should bring you to a page that has the other characters as well. So it doesn't have to be Ariel. Like if you want to get Tiana or Cinderella or any of the the other ones I have a page there um, that is an affiliate link so if you do end up buying these dolls I do get a little bit of a commission so just wanted to put that out there but yeah so if you want to go check that out um, anyway so yeah we've got Ariel here there's her second little outfit let me go ahead and open up the back really quick it, um, oh this was a little easier oh because it was ripped at the top that's why but um Okay, so you know what? I have seen pictures of this before. So this is basically like a little activity, like kind of like a coloring book page. So you've got a picture of Ariel here with Sebastian that you can color in, and, oh, and Flounder. And then up here, it's just a whole bunch of little activities. So like over here, it's like find the shadow. So you have like pictures of the different characters and then the, the black silhouettes and you have, probably have to draw lines to them uh, or figure out which one is which. Um, and then like, here there's like a missing square and then there's a few squares here and you got to figure out which one actually would fit here correctly. There's a little maze you can draw. There's a thing that teaches you how to draw flounder. And then there's like a connect the dots for Ariel's tail. This is really cute. I'm not going to get too much use out of this because like I, I don't necessarily do like coloring books and stuff like that anymore. But um, I can definitely see that, you know, for kids, this is amazing. I love that they included this because it's literally just printed onto the box. 
So it's not really too much extra. They just, you know, something instead of putting a picture of the doll, which you can very clearly see on the front, have a little coloring page. And you know, that's, that's actually really, really cool. Okay, so um, I believe, let's see. Okay, so it looks like there's like a box on the side here. And there's another, yeah, here we go. So, oh, does that not open? No, it should open. There we go. So this opens. Oh, does this come out? Oh, cool. Okay, so this whole thing just slides out. So, um, okay, I'm gonna set this aside. So far, I'm not seeing any plastic, so that's good. Um, I'm just gonna set the box back there for now. And here is the doll, if you wanted to see her a little better in the box. And yeah, it's looking like there is no plastic. They have like these paper twine kind of thread or string that they're using to hold the doll in the box, which I like because um, the previous one, they just kind of use these, these little pop outs for the cardboard, which still works. But um, I like that they do this because that actually helps. I noticed, you know what I noticed? There's no sticker. Hold on, let me get the, the other one down really quick. I'm just gonna make it really, really quick for the comparison. I don't necessarily wanna spend too much time on it. But um, here is the other, the previous box. If you wanna see like a super in-depth review, I did review this doll in the park along with the uh, wedding dress Ariel doll as well. Uh, and I did that in, in California Adventure actually. If you wanna see this video, I will put a link up in the corner so that way you can check out the review when I reviewed this. But basically what they were doing is they started, instead of having plastic, clear plastic, you can't see the doll. It's just like in a cardboard box and you, it's basically like a blind bag. You don't know what the doll's gonna look like. You know that it's Ariel if you pick up the box with Ariel on it, but um, you can't like check them to see like which, which one has the best face paint, which one has the best hair, uh, because they were all sealed with a little sticker here, like a little paper sticker, and that's how you knew it was perfectly sealed. There was nothing taping or closing this other than the little tabs so I wonder I'm gonna have to check this out when I'm in Disneyland if you see these in person like if you go to Disneyland and pick these up I feel like you could probably open the front and look at the doll before you buy it to make sure you like the face paint and everything that's really interesting I'm hoping I don't know that might be the case because it came from Amazon and it was shipped directly to me rather than coming from a physical store but like I said I'll, I'll let you know when I get to Disneyland when I see them in person if they are that way because that's actually really nice and I think that that was criticism that a lot of other people had and it'd be nice you know like if, the, if Disney listened to the people making those criticisms maybe they took that into consideration when designing this box anyway um so for these ones, you just kind of flip this open. There's the doll, this thing comes out. I will say so far, this is a lot easier to open. And to my understanding, these are also still available. Uh, in fact, they're on that Amazon storefront as well. Like I think I've got the new storybook collection version right next to this version in the Amazon storefront through that link down below. So if you, you know, after this, if you decide, oh, I, I would rather get this or I'd rather get this, you can make that decision yourself. Um, but anyway, so, and then you just kind of like have this little tab here. I've done it so many times that it's the, it's starting to kind of break a little bit. So that's the one downside to this if you reuse the packaging. But um, anyway, so I've got this doll here. This is the, the previous version. So I'm just gonna set her aside right now and I'll keep her handy so I can do a side-by-side -side comparison once I get this doll fully out. Now, obviously we got the doll, we got the dress, but then we've got like a box here. Oh, it has like a tear thing. It looks like so let's tear this i want to see what's in here this must be the other like accessories and stuff so, oh that broke might be easier if you have it like set on a table but anybody got time wait is there anything in here oh okay there we go so there's there's a little wrapped in paper is there anything else in here nope Okay, so, so you got all this space. It's like her, her little closet or whatever. Just, just for this, this little itty bitty thing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna set this here. And let's see what's in the little accessories. Okay, it really just is her accessories. So here is the little baguette or like, 
hold on, I, I'm gonna zoom in so you can actually see this. So here's the little bread, and it's got like flowers with it. And I think it's like a callback to the um, animated film so when they're like going around the town in the like horse and buggy. Um, you know, like she she gets a loaf of bread and some flowers or whatever that she's holding onto, if I remember correctly. Anyway, um, so also in here, we've got a dingle hopper. I love this. I love the fact that they've taken the dingle hopper from the, the movie and turned it into a hairbrush, like something functional. I mean, you could just do like an actual fork and technically it'd be like a hair pick almost, but this will actually function like a hairbrush. They have like human sized versions of these that they sell at Disneyland. Um, I don't know if it, they have them on shopdisney.com or not, but it's literally a hairbrush, but they like, you know, a hairbrush, but then on the back it's printed or, you know, molded like a, a dingle hopper. So it's just, you know, Little Mermaid merchandise, but that is such a clever idea. So you can actually do your hair with a dingle hopper. <laughs> anyway, okay, so along with this, we get a very simplistic pair of shoes shoes. Um, I'm not saying simplistic to be like critical or anything. I do like them. They're just very simple. They're like a white pearly one. They are not movie accurate though. In the movie, I believe she just wears some simple black heels. And I kind of wish that these matched that because I think that they would go a little better with the dress. But I'm not going to complain because these are really pretty and they've got a really pretty like pearlescent kind of finish to them. And they have nice molding, molded details. Um, let's see. Oh, she also comes with a little bow. So um, when she has her blue dress, she's got a bow in her hair in the in the animated film. So this is nice. You can like style her hair to look like that. And then here is Flounder. Wow, he's heavy. Okay, here's Flounder. So he is just a solid molded piece of plastic that's painted. This is really cute. I don't have a flounder yet. So um, now I have my, my very first flounder. This is really cute. So it's really just like a little figurine toy. Um, I thought he might be like, I have like the Alice in Wonderland that came with a Cheshire cat at, from the 90s and it's like a squishy, like a hollow thing. I thought that that might be with this or like maybe it's one of those where you squeeze it underwater and like let it go and it sucks up water. So that way you, when you take it out, you can squirt people with it. I thought it might be one of those, but it's not. It's just like I said, completely solid plastic and it's kind of heavy, <laughs> but not in a bad way, just, you know, describing what I'm seeing here. Anyway, okay, so here we've got the doll and the second outfit. Um, do I wanna cut or do I wanna take her out? It looks like she's easy to take out. Let me just take her out on camera. So um, let me, oh, no, no, no. I wanna see if I can do this because I'm gonna have to do this. If I'm gonna do the review in the park, I have to be able to do the review in the park and I'm not allowed to bring scissors in. So let me, I'm dropping pieces. What What is dropping? Oh, it's just a little cardboard pieces. But anyway, let me see if I can get the doll out of the box without using scissors because if I can't, that could complicate things for when I do the reviews in Disneyland. Okay, so she was really tight in there. <laughs> So um, I, what I ended up doing was I ripped this little, there was like this piece of cardboard that was kind of going across and then the, the twine kind of went through either side and was tied on both sides. I literally ripped the paper off here and then I just pulled the twine through the front uh, and kind of like opened this little hole a little bit more just so that way I could get her out. It was easy once I did that, um, but I was really struggling to untie it. I was hoping I could untie the twine that would have been better um, that would have made it a little bit easier but um, unfortunately I wasn't able to do that this packaging I have to say does not feel as reusable as this um, older this this box this box is reusable I store all of my dolls in their box um, and they even come with this little insert which is a great little display piece if you want to display them since they don't come with stands you can use this as a stand um, but so far, the way that this is opening, I mean, technically because it's not taped and there's no plastic, I guess you could put it back together and put it back in the box. It's just not as easy. Like you have to rip this open and stuff like that. Uh, and I had to rip this to get her out of the box. So it do doesn't feel as reusable to me as the previous design. But I mean, I'm really happy about getting all the extra stuff. Um, I'm not too worried too much about 
reusing the packaging, um, but it's very recyclable, so keep that in mind. Oh, wow. Right away, I can see a visible difference with this doll. Oh, okay. I can't wait to hold these up um, next to each other so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, really quick, so she does have like twine around her uh, shoulders here holding her hair down. So I'm just going to see if I can undo this thinner twine is a little easier to undo. They had it around her uh, ankles as well. But let me see if I could just undo this real quick. There we go. Okay. It's not super easy, but I was able to get the knot undone. Um, just got to be careful because I was using my fingernails. <laughs> but anyway, so there we go. So I've got the doll out of the box. Um, let me get her dress out really quick. So that way, actually, I'll leave it there. She is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she definitely has box hair. Like her hair is not, like these ones had, okay, her hair is a little flat now, but um, like her hair, I don't remember when I first unboxed this one, how bad or how good her hair was. Cause I think I did end up washing this hair at one point um, and then it was nice and curled. But anyway, um, this one, I feel like if you washed it in like slightly warm water, not hot water, but just slightly warm water and like gave it a conditioning treatment and whatever, um, I think that it would end up looking really nice, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing uh, just cause this stuff definitely is box hair. But luckily it is the same high quality like nylon feeling material that I love that they use. For some reason, they don't do that on any of the other princess dolls. All the other princess dolls have polypropylene or low grade nylon, depending on the color. Um, for some reason, Ariel always gets really, really nice hair, which I love. So from the, the Disney store anyway, this outfit is amazing. I love that they took some artistic liberties um, with the or artistic license or whatever with the outfit. Cause look at this, like this is her standard purple seashell bikini top, but then they added the ruffles and the trim with the painted details. I love that. And then they upgraded her tails. So previously this was the, you know, what we were getting. It's like a bikini top with an extra fabric shell kind of sewn on. And this is plastic molded shells and then has the um, extra ruffle here, which is not needed. It's not in the original film, but I think it looks really pretty. So I like it. Um, so that's already an upgrade. And then when you look at the tails, like this is a really nice, like iridescent crimped fabric. I don't know what this is, but compared to this, which is just like a piece of tool that's unfinished, um, this is, you know, finished, it's hemmed or whatever. And then the, although the tails are very, very similar, like the material with the glitter scales printed, the bottom you're, is where you're really going to see a difference. So they used to use this like to this tool that's not finished around the edges. And now this one, this is not finished around the edges either, but um, this is this like, once again, like a crimped iridescent fabric like they used to use this on like 90s Barbies I think or it's it might be a little bit different but um I really like this so much better than this weird tool that sticks out weird like that. <laughs> I love the new one so much more it is a little bit bent kind of funny because she was in the box like this so like bringing it down but I feel like you could if you had like a steamer you could probably uh steam this or do something I don't know there's there's probably ways um you might be able to like if you're very very careful uh, and you know how to iron delicate things that have a ten, you know I don't know if this would melt because it feels like it might be a little plasticky because of the iridescent but you might be able to iron it flat but either way it just looks so so much better than that other mesh material so Ariel definitely got an upgrade um, really quick I just want to show you her face it's not really any different than the previous one so just you know so you can like compare um, this one is the previous one and then this one is the newer one so like the oh the new one almost looks like her hair is a little bit darker but that might be she has product in her hair there is hair gel keeping her hair styled in her hair so I will have to wash that out but anyway if we're just comparing the uh the faces like there's very mild differences like the color of her lipstick and stuff but um for the most part I feel like these dolls are very, very similar. The differences are very mild or mild. I don't know. I don't know if mild is the right word. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going to take her tail off really quick because I want to compare their body types. Their body types are different. Let's talk about the articulation and the bodies because is she shorter? She is shorter. 
that's interesting. So the new one is heavier, so she feels like a sturdier construction to me. So there is a difference between these two. Now let's talk about articulation. So starting with the old one, there's movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and then they have a bend and snap knee. Now Ariel is one of the few dolls from this line that had pointed toes because she is a mermaid. All of the other princesses got flat feet, which I hated. Um, luckily, this doll, also has pointed toes because she is a mermaid. I'll have to wait and see for the other dolls if they have flat feet or not. But um, she also has the same articulation. So there is movement at the head, at the shoulder, at the elbow, although the bend at the elbow is a lot more stiff. Um, it'll probably loosen up as like a kid plays with it or, you know, as you use the joint. But anyway, there's also movement at the wrist. There is movement at the hips and a bend and snap bend and snap knee oh what's happening okay well it's not the best <laughs> i feel like something i is, is this one like this too okay well the bend and snap is not that great in these it never really has been hold on how is this one yeah this one i mean it's there but it's yeah, it's better than this one. Anyway, so the bend and snap is there. It's supposed to be there at least, but for some reason, I think that the plastic part, it, it feels like it's either broken in here or not connected, or it doesn't go down far enough in the leg for you to be able to bend it and it click the joint. But anyway, it's there. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna do a top-down comparison of these two dolls. Okay, so here you can see both the older Ariel and the newer version next to each other. I tried to use the edge of the box to like make sure that they're at the same height. You know, their feet are starting at the same place. So you can see very clearly that the newer Ariel is definitely shorter than the previous model. And I'd say that the difference is maybe about a half inch. So it's not like a huge difference, but she definitely is shorter. If we zoom in here, we can start to see some of the other differences. So right off the bat, so the next major thing that I notice is the waistline is different. So the previous version of the Disney Store Classic Dolls were very slim, but the newer, at least for Ariel, like I said, I haven't seen any of the other princesses yet or anything, but for Ariel, um, she has a slightly fuller figure and you can really see that in her chest, her waist, her hips as well well so like even her legs like there's a very noticeable difference that her legs are a lot more full um, and not as just not as thin as the previous dolls were even the arms if we set the the um, shoulders at the same point um, obviously the newer doll is a little bit shorter so her arms are also a little shorter but they are a little bit thicker so like it's not a huge difference it's very subtle but it definitely gives just a fuller appearance in the arms as well and even like the the forearms I have to say that I actually really like the changes that they made just because they're very subtle so it still feels like the same doll and these newer updated bodies can still fit in the previous versions of the classic dolls outfits so like if you have some of the older dolls you can still mix and match and stuff like that but as subtle as it is this is a big difference i think disney is definitely taking a page out of mattel's book and you know just starting to make slightly more realistic proportions for their dolls and i like this i think that it looks very beautiful i like this as well i'm used to this but I actually kind of prefer the the proportions for this I also did notice that there is a very slight like mild skin tone change and everything the plastic that they're using for the newer bodies is different than the plastic that they used for the original um, this one looks ever so slightly more shiny whereas this looks a little bit more matte so that's that's a difference there plus um, the new one is a little bit more fair like it's a little more pale but if you look at their faces there's not a huge difference when it comes to their uh, skin tone. I'm really trying to see here. Yeah, see, I don't think there's a huge difference. I think it's the same face mold. I think it's just the screening is like slightly different for the proportions and it makes the newer Ariel's eyes look a little bigger. I don't know, it, it might be an updated face mold. I don't know. It's still close enough though that it looks very similar. 
But anyway, I got sidetracked. So I was talking about the skin tone. Like if you're looking for like a made to move body, for example, um, a trick that I found, cause see, this area looks a little bit more tan in the body and like a little more pale in the face. Whereas this, this newer one is a little opposite. Her body is very pale, but her face looks a little bit warmer. So a trick that I learned when trying to match skin tones for made to move dolls is match their bodies. Don't match the face. Like if you get a made to move doll and you put the hand next to the face, I mean, that is a way that you can do it, but really an easier way that I found is just put their arms next to each other. And if the arms look close enough, then it's a good enough match for a made to move. Or if you're doing like a body donor for more articulation. But yeah, I find this really interesting that Disney gave the newer doll newer proportions and I'm really interested to see if the other Disney princesses are like this as well or did they make some of them taller and some of them shorter or you know I'm curious to see what happened so I'm definitely gonna have to be getting more of these <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get her second outfit. Uh, let me get this dress out of the box because I wanna try her in this. And first of all, I wanna see how I like the dress, but then I also wanna see what she looks like wearing it. So let me get this out real quick. All right, so this little thing was kind of attached to the box. I ripped it off to get the <laughs> dress out, uh, but it's just Velcroed around it, so I didn't really need to do that. I love the fact that there's none of those little plastic stays, the little kajinkers that are stapled into the outfit to keep them in place in the box. The fact that there's no plastic in here is really nice because those things always damage the clothes and I like that this doesn't oh I should probably take her shell bra off I don't know if it'll look that great oh I just noticed on the back here this is like a uh, plastic it's plastic all the way around that's really cool and then the ribbon part is velcro up here All right, here she is in her second outfit and I have to say I love this so um, First of all, I tried my best to style her hair very quickly. If I ha if I took more time, it would look nicer. But um, because I did it super fast just now, uh, and her hair still has the gel in it, I need to wash that out. It looks a little a little weird, and it kind of shows the rooting pattern there. Um, but anyway, I just I love the fact that it comes with the little bow in the back. That is super super cute. And um, here's the rest of the dress now. Um, there's a couple things I really like about this and there's a couple things I'm not super happy about but or like not that it, that makes it sound like I'm really that I don't like it but that's not how it is I do like it um, this is really really cute I love the fact that the top is almost like a chiffon or like some kind of like it's a really nice fabric I don't know what kind of fabric this is but it's really nice and um, it's kind of flowy kind of see-through and it gives a really cute effect and it's hemmed everywhere and and um, you know even has like elastic around the wristbands like this is really nice like really well constructed also the corset is actually surprisingly nice it's more satiny um, but it goes all the way around the last few dolls that i've had of ariel in this dress or that i've seen the corset is in the front and then in the back it doesn't exist and the rest is just like you know it's just on the front and that's it um so I, I love the fact that they actually finished the corset part all the way around. I'm so excited. I like the little addition of the little bow right here. Uh, and I like I said, I love this material they used for the top. Um, it would have been nice if it was like a separate top, like a top, a skirt and a corset. But I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> yes, we could always dream big, right? Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm not like upset that it's not three separate pieces, but it would be really cool if it was. Moving down to the skirt, this is the part that I'm like not super excited. I dropped her shoe already. Hold on. See, it's the only thing with doll shoes is you need little like clear rubber bands or something to hold them on. <laughs> you know what? Looking at her, I actually don't mind the skirt. Um, so this coming down to the skirt, the material is interesting. It In pictures, it looked like that traditional plasticky paper material that they've been using on like Barbie fashionistas and like you know the cheapy material but this is actually really nice it's got a really soft feel to it I actually really quite like it um, it is a little shorter than it is in the film I think in the film it kind of comes down more closer to her ankles or her calves um, but this is a little shorter up closer to her knee and it is scalloped and it is just a it's an unfinished hem it's not hemmed uh but it's a scallop hem with like extra holes in it and this printed detail with sh um seashells and oh my gosh there's a seahorse there's a seahorse i love that there are seahorses on her on the skirt of her dress that is so cool that just makes me like this even more <laughs> 
Here are her shoes. These actually look really cute on. Once again, I wish they were black because I think it just kind of like looks better with, it would look better with the overall outfit. But um, I do like the shoes. I like the mold that they use. I like that they're pearly. Also, there is a left and a right shoe. So I think a lot of shoes recently, like older Barbies, as well as um, a lot of like Bratz, for example, and a lot of other dolls, um, especially when they have smaller feet, a lot of the shoes are like, can go on the left or right. It doesn't really matter. Um, but a lot of like Monster High and stuff like that, they do have them like shaped and Rainbow High have them shaped to go on the correct foot. And these ones do as well. I noticed there is a left and a right. Um, they are not a mirror image of themselves. They are, they are a little bit different, but they have to go on the correct foot. I really, really like this doll. I like the series. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Just from pictures online, there's a couple little things here and there, like the skirt length for some of the dresses and like a couple other little things that I wish were a little bit better. But overall, this storybook collection is looking amazing. I'm really happy that it's moving in this direction. I don't know if this is a sign that just Disney is doing better or the Disney princess doll line is doing better. I don't know, but I'm really happy that all of these dolls got an upgrade. I forgot to talk about the price. Since I didn't buy this, I forgot about the price. I believe that these are $30. Let me double check that. Yes, $29.99. So if you want these, ones, I still haven't put her uh, skirt back on, but anyway, if you want these ones in the, the older, you know, the packaging from a couple years ago, uh, the, the box, that's reusable that those ones are $20 and you can get them on Amazon or you can get them at the Disney parks if you get them at the Disney parks they're more expensive I don't know about these yet you'll have to wait until my videos come out uh, sometime in October for to see what the price is in the Disney parks for these ones but they are $29.99 $30 basically on Amazon and on shopdisney.com you can also get them uh, but if you want to get them use the link down below <laughs> Use the affiliate link. Because like I said, I get a little bit of a commission for every purchase that you make using that. Uh, plus there's a whole bunch of other stuff. You can, if you click that link, I think you have like 24 hours or whatever. You can check out everything I have on my, my Amazon storefront. And you know, you can buy anything, not just these. But um, yeah, anyway, I love that these dolls came with a second outfit and it's a different, you know, like they always have their main outfit that we always see the dolls in. But the fact that they have a different option, most of these dolls are going to be displayed in their uh, newer outfits. Like, I think I'm gonna display her in this outfit because I think I only own one other Ariel doll in her blue dress. And I kind of like this blue dress better than the one that I already have. The other one was a um, Disney Store one as well. It's from like, I wanna say seven or eight years ago, maybe. I'm not exactly sure how long ago at this point. Uh, maybe not quite that long. I think it was from like 2018, maybe. But anyway, I have a review on my channel for it. It's, it was a uh, gift set and it had Ariel and Eric in the boat. That scene, I'll put that link up here as well if you want to check out that video. But I think I'm definitely gonna be displaying her in this outfit and um, I'm not just gonna like pack these away. I'm actually gonna use these on another doll. In fact, I think I'm gonna put these Oh, I don't know where she is right now, but I'm, um, I have my Mattel Ariel doll that I put on a made to move body. I think I'm going to give this to her because it, I really, really like this, uh, bikini top. I think it looks really pretty. And I think that this would look really pretty on that doll because this is way better than the one that Mattel gave her. Uh, that's great for kids to play with, but I want her to look nicer and these definitely look nicer than that. So I think she's getting these, but anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you to both Andrea and Jennifer for for sending me these wonderful gifts. Um, I'm really excited for the popcorn bucket and the Dole Whip. I'm so happy to finally have these. And I am really happy to get started on these and to like have a chance to see what they're about. And I, I think this is like so perfect because like I said, I only have a few weeks and um, I'm glad that I had that I opened this and had a chance to see what the packaging was like before I did the reviews in the park because I would probably find a good spot to sit, set up my camera, start recording, and then when it comes time to get the doll out of the box, I'd be sitting here struggling with it. So now I at least know what to expect. Anyway, I'm gonna get going for right now. It is actually dinner time. We are actually getting ready to go out to dinner. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you obviously enjoy hanging out with me so why not subscribe it does not cost you anything i promise it is free <laughs> anyway okay that's my call to action but i'm gonna get going thanks so much for watching and i hope i see you next time bye
If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.